sweetheart, I have been thinking a lot lately about everything that has happened between us. I have spent countless hours reflecting on the journey we have shared, and I cannot help but be overwhelmed by the memories of how we met and got to know each other. Those initial moments of connection, the spark of excitement, and the joy of discovering each other's quirks and passions are still vivid in my mind. I remember the beautiful moments we spent together, the laughter that filled our days, and the comfort of knowing we had found something special. But along with these cherished memories, I have also been thinking about the challenges and issues that led to our separation. It's painful to recall the misunderstandings, arguments, and the hurtful words exchanged. Yet, these reflections are important, as they have made me realize the mistakes I made and the role my ego played in pushing us apart. You know, it doesn't matter that now we are not on talking terms, my heart still yearns for you and longs to talk to you every moment. In my pride and stubbornness, I failed to reach out to you, even when I wanted to so badly. I allowed my ego to stand in the way of what my heart truly desired. However, as the days have passed, my yearning for you has slowly but surely defeated my ego and my arrogance. I have come to understand that I might lose something extremely precious if I keep behaving this way. My dear, you are far more important to me than my ego and my false pride. Each day without you feels like my heart is being squeezed tighter and tighter. I miss you more and more, with an intensity that is almost unbearable. I wish to sit in front of you, to see your face light up with that smile I love so much. I want to feel you sitting next to me once again, to hold your hands, and to hug you tightly in my arms. More than anything, I want to have a serious conversation with you. I want to tell you that I have realized my mistake and that I wish to correct it now. You mean a lot to me, and I have realized this only after going away from you. Please forgive me for taking so much time to understand my true feelings and emotions. You are very important to me, and I know for sure that I will never find anyone else who can love me and understand me as you do. I have come to understand that a love like yours is a blessing from God, one that should never be taken lightly. I really wish to apologize to you by holding both my ears, a gesture of my sincere remorse. Please give me a chance. I have understood that this separation was necessary to shatter my ego and pride. Now, I want to give this connection a chance with all my heart and mind. This time, it will be a connection of equal give and take. This time, I will give you all the love, care, and attention that you have always desired. Now, I know how deeply you are embedded in me. I know how madly I am in love with you. I am sorry that I made you wait so long to confess my true feelings, but now I don't wish to make you wait for anything else ever again. I am yours if you will have me. You are my home, my love, my life. Please accept me. This period of separation has been a profound lesson for me. It has taught me the true value of what we shared, the depth of my feelings for you, and the emptiness of my life without you. I now understand that my pride and ego were trivial compared to the love we had. I am ready to be vulnerable, to admit my faults, and to make amends. I am ready to put in the effort required to rebuild our relationship, to make it stronger and more resilient. I am committed to being the partner you deserve, one who listens, understands, and cherishes you. I want to create new memories with you, to replace the pain of the past with the joy of a future together. Please, my love, give us another chance. Let's overcome the past and build a future filled with love, respect, and understanding. I am ready to be the person you need me to be, to give you all the love and care you have always deserved. You are my home and my love. Please accept me back into your life, and let's create something beautiful together. My love, it's very easy to experience magic in life. I don't know how much you will resonate with this message but let me try to explain what I mean. 
You know, prayer is very powerful. Whenever I start feeling low, I close my eyes and chant some mantras. Instantly, I feel peace and comfort, and a beautiful feeling of happiness and bliss fills my heart. You will wonder how easy it was to change the mood. Whenever I feel troubled or scared, I do the same, and at that moment, I get a feeling that I have nothing to worry about, everything will be taken care of. I'm not lying, everything always works out in my favor. It's like some kind of magic. This sense of magic makes me feel like the divine is always with me. I feel so protected and confident. I feel like nobody can harm me, and nothing can put me down. I'm always taken care of. It's the most beautiful feeling in the world. I feel like I'm never alone and am always guided in the right direction. I don't have to carry any burdens by myself, someone else will do that for me. Each day, my faith grows stronger in God, and each day, God shows me how much He loves me. I feel so blessed. I think I am the luckiest person on this planet. People often say nobody has seen God and that finding God is very difficult. I say finding God is the easiest thing. He is present everywhere, in everyone, we just have to look within ourselves. God is so kind and pure that if we call Him with affection, He never refuses. You can feel His energy in the happiness that you feel in your heart. I don't go to the temple or church every day, in fact, it's been years since I visited one. God is in the heart, we don't have to go anywhere else to search for Him. Believe in Him and see how life becomes easier day by day. One of the most profound aspects of this experience is the realization that we are never truly alone. Even in moments of solitude or despair, there is a comforting presence that provides solace and strength. This presence, which I identify as divine, serves as a constant reminder that there is more to life than the immediate struggles we face. It offers a perspective that transcends the mundane and connects us to something greater than ourselves. In moments of prayer or meditation, I often find myself enveloped in a sense of peace that is difficult to describe. It's as if the worries and anxieties of the day melt away, replaced by a serene calm that washes over me. This calm is not just a temporary escape but a transformative experience that alters my outlook on life. It reinforces my belief that there is a higher power watching over us, guiding us through the challenges we encounter. The practice of chanting mantras has become a cornerstone of my spiritual routine. Each mantra carries a unique vibration, a resonance that aligns with the energies of the universe. When I chant, I feel a connection to this universal energy, a reminder that we are all part of a larger cosmic tapestry. This connection brings with it a profound sense of belonging and purpose. There is also a sense of gratitude that accompanies this spiritual practice. Each day, as I witness the small miracles and blessings in my life, my faith in God deepens. I am constantly reminded of how fortunate I am to experience this journey. This gratitude is not just for the tangible blessings but for the intangible moments of joy, love, and connection that make life truly magical. Faith, in its essence, is a powerful force. It shapes our perceptions, influences our actions, and ultimately determines our reality. By placing our trust in a higher power, we open ourselves to the possibility of miracles. We begin to see the world through a lens of hope and optimism, recognizing the divine presence in every moment. It's important to remember that this divine presence does not demand grand gestures or elaborate rituals. God resides within our hearts, accessible through simple acts of kindness, love, and compassion. We don't need to search far and wide to find Him, we need only to look within. This realization is both liberating and empowering, as it reminds us that the divine is always within reach.